So it's all over but the shouting. Well, that's life. You take a chance and draw a blank. It's finally got him. Who, me? No, I'm a gambler. So I lose. So what? Do I lose my life? Do I lose my health? Do I lose my good looks? No, I just lose my money. <laughs> and after all, what's money? <laughs> oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> It's a good thing they don't have pockets and straight jackets. Now look, I... I think I'd better go to see Bill Duncan and tell him. Well, why is he Bill Duncan? That's finished. Bury it. But Forget all about Bill Duncan. I just saw him. He understands everything. Oh, yes. He's a very understanding man. Very. Now you go back to France and marry somebody you love. But I can't. Well, why not? She can't swim that far. Oh, well, we spent so much money already. We might as well spend a little bit more. Here is a hundred dollars. The boat sails at noon and you keep the change. Oh. Oh, Mike. You know, something tells me I'm going in the restaurant business myself. Wrigley! Jim! Now, Bill, wait a minute. Before we do now anything listen. rash, let's just contend, shall we? Jim, One, you're the greatest two, palatello I've ever had. Listen, I can explain everything. Uncle Eric called Paris last night, and everything you suspect is true. The girl is a phony. If I'd married her, my family would have cut me off without a dime. Then you don't want to marry her? Marry her! I had to give that waiter five thousand dollars. He put up the money for the whole thing. You're not going to marry her, then? And it'll cost you more than that. You kidnapped her. Oh, she's got you good. They'll probably take you for a hundred thousand dollars. Are you sure you don't want to marry her? Oh, forget the marriage business. And don't worry about the money. I'll pay it. You don't have to, Wrigley. Yes, sir. Another suit, quick. Where are you going? I'm going to marry her myself. Do you think that'll be cheaper? I'll let you know in about ten years. Yes, but... What? Wait a minute! I must stop him. He's my best friend. He doesn't know what Before I know. Before you do this, sir, let me tell you of an incident in which my second cousin, One-Eyed Wrigley, was involved. dish after her. Yeah? What? On the regular dollar dinner at a new restaurant, the frog's legs will always be called a la cortillon. Don't forget the name of mashed potatoes. It'll for me. Mr. Cortillon? Yes? Will you please follow me? But why? Yeah. Is that your bag? Yes? I'll take you along. Oh, no! Oh, yes, I don't think you'll come back here. But I haven't done anything. In there. But I tell you I've done nothing. You'll have to tell that to the captain, miss. I'm only carrying out orders. But now what happens? I don't know about that, miss. You have to speak to the captain. The drops, no? You are the certain Mademoiselle de Cortillon, no? Oh, please don't. Pardon? Don't make fun of me now. Oh, I wouldn't make fun of you. But why do you do all this? Well, you wouldn't want me to get married without changing my shirt, now, would you? Mary? Certainly. Wrigley's up there fixing it with the captain right now. And in a few minutes, you're going to be the uncertain Mrs. James Trevor. But don't you think I'm very bad? I'll tell you a little secret. I'm pretty bad myself. The captain says he'll marry you in 15 minutes. Oh. I'll try and hurry him up, sir. 